Ever since man looked up to the sky, he's asked himself one question, am I alone? Turns out the answer is no. Scientists have discovered a new signal that can only be explained by the presence of aliens. What is this new signal and how will it change our lives? Are aliens out there and are they trying to contact us? We might finally have the answers to these questions thanks to the Voyager spacecrafts. Humans have always been fascinated by space. Beyond our Earth is a space vast and ever-expanding. There are countless stars, planets and solar systems. So it's a rather naive way to think that we are the only life in this whole universe. Of course, that didn't mean we were going to sit back and do nothing. No, we took initiative to explore space and to find out everything we can about the planets in our solar system and beyond. Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 were launched, which turned out to be one of the best things to have happened to space exploration. The Voyagers have given us the evidence we needed to know about the existence of aliens. These space probes were sent into space with very limited missions. Voyager 1 was supposed to orbit close to Titan, Saturn's largest moon, and study its atmosphere. Voyager 2 was sent into space just 15 days later to visit the farther planets of our solar system. These missions were supposed to last only five years, but their success and the brilliance of the space probes made a compelling case for scientists to extend their boundaries and reach out further into the endless abyss. Life in outer space has always been one of the biggest mysteries for scientists, but our limitations in exploration and traveling in space had made it difficult to reach any conclusive evidence. But things changed suddenly when one day scientists noticed an odd hum throughout the cosmos. The Voyager would send data as radio waves to Earth and the scientists would decode it. This particular hum was, however, very different from these signals. It wasn't just a short signal either. In fact, it was the longest lasting hum the Voyager had managed to capture. For three years, the odd low hum continued to add soft background music to the Voyager's signals. But what was it? The hum was at a constant 3 kilohertz, and after long hours staring at their computers, scientists were able to conclude that it must be coming from at least 14 billion kilometers away from Earth. Astronomers believe that plasma waves traveling from very deep in the universe reached the Voyager. Such a hum could only have come from a very huge energy source in space. Of course, there were other explanations as well. Some believe that the signal is coming from extraterrestrial species trying to establish contact. The unusual signals that the Voyager has sent to Earth are in the form of short radio bursts, which scientists conveniently call fast radio bursts. These FRBs are constantly being recorded, which makes you wonder whether there's something out there trying to communicate with us. There's also another thrilling possibility. Maybe we were never meant to be the recipients of these signals. Maybe we are only eavesdropping on conversations between creatures from outer space. If you think that this is the only weird incident to have ever happened to the Voyager, then you are gravely mistaken. The following incident was enough to send scientists all over the world into a state of excited frenzy. Any guesses on what this could have been? Whatever you've guessed couldn't have come close to what actually happened. The Voyager 2 was busy traveling billions of miles away from Earth when scientists suddenly received data from the space probe in a code they hadn't coded into the Voyager. The probe was speaking an alien language all of a sudden. Of course, there were all sorts of explanations for this remarkably confusing turn of events. Some people believe that it's simply a programming fault in the Voyager. Maybe the probe has finally outlived its working capacity and has started to malfunction. But that's not exactly true. Apart from this incident, the Voyager appears to function just fine. There are, of course, 
other, more exciting explanations people have come up with. They say aliens found the probe orbiting space and decided to reprogram it. This way, they could be sending us a message or maybe even a warning. Now, this sounds insane when you hear it from some random person on the street, but even academics and specialists are speculating these things. A German specialist, Hartwig Hustorf, says that by the looks of it, someone or something must have hijacked the probe. Space is still a mystery, and this incident adds another to the long list of unanswered questions. Voyager 1 and 2 continue to travel far and wide into the universe, but we're still only scratching the surface. There are still billions and billions of miles to go before Voyager can sleep, but their discoveries continue to fuel our curiosity. For the first time in history, we might have concrete proof of life in space. Two incidents are one too many just to be mere coincidences, right? The probes continue to look for more clues while we try to make sense of the signals we have received. Because of how important the two probes have been for space exploration, they keep getting extension after extension on their space journey. What was meant to be just a five-year space journey has already crossed four decades. And by the looks of it, the probes will be spending a lot more time out exploring the universe. The two space probes have been instrumental in our understanding of space. But we still have a long way to go before we can say we have explored space completely. Maybe that will never be possible and will be lost in the endless abyss forever. That said, the Voyagers aren't the only ones picking up mysterious signals from space. Recently, Breakthrough Listen, an organization dedicated to hunting alien broadcasts, picked up on another unexplainable radio signal. Using Australia's Parks Observatory, the alien hunters were studying Proxima Centauri, the closest star to the sun, when they picked up on a conspicuous signal. This happened back between April and May 2019. Of course, the discovery has scientists at the observatory all excited. Even though some of them suspect that signals could be human in origin, others firmly believe that the radio signals are extraterrestrial in nature, coming directly from the small red star that's 4.2 light years away. They've dubbed it BLC-1 and are focusing all their efforts on analyzing it. There have been other cases of astronomers coming upon unexplainable radio signals, but most of them turned out to be from pulsars, the rapidly rotting corpses of dead stars that were previously unknown. Still, many radio signals remain a mystery, even if they really are messages from extraterrestrial life. The million dollar question remains, are these aliens hostile towards us and out to harm us? Or are they just as curious about us as we are about them? Do they look at us the way we look at ants and insects on Earth? Curious little creatures. Or do they look at us as threats that need to be rid of? These are the questions that keep us awake at night. But unfortunately, the answers to these questions are still unclear. Only time will tell us about the nature of these extraterrestrial creatures and what they could mean for humans. The probes are, of course, sent into space with the possibility of there being intelligent interplanetary life forms. The Voyagers carry a gold-plated audiovisual disc just in case it really does run into aliens. The disc has all sorts of friendly information about Earth, with pictures of the planets and its creatures, spoken greetings and songs. The disc has fascinating clips of people laughing and playing, a baby's cry, the sound of waves when they hit the shore, and even the sounds of whales. Everything that shows Earth in all its magnificent glory. What do you think the aliens would think of this sweet token if they ever come across it? Would they be fascinated by Earth and the Earthlings? 
maybe one of these days, the Voyagers will bring such a gift from aliens to us as well.